Okay, so I've assumed that you are able to get into Power Teacher and that you are now in front of your main screen. You have uh, one of your courses selected and you are in the correct Fortin term. For this particular occasion it should be S1 because we are reporting the end of the first semester. So you have input your marks for your different assignments and you have a grade that should be showing up here S1 final grade. The A and T are the attendance and uh, or absences rather and uh, tardies. To enter the work habits you click on the final grades tab up here and it opens up this window. The learning profile or work habits are in blue here. In the light blue there are four of them. There are four of them. If you uh, scroll over each one, uh, the first one demonstrates organizational mm -hmm. skills, second one demonstrates ability to work independently, third demonstrates ability to work with others, and fourth completes homework and assignments. There are two ways of entering the grades for these work habits for each student. You can click on an individual student uh, right here for the first one, click on the left mouse button, and this opens up this uh, uh, text field that you can fill in by clicking the right mouse button and assigning a grade either consistently, usually, sometime, or rarely. These are the possible grades for these work habits. So you can do this by uh, clicking on the one you want for this particular student. The other way of doing it is, again, click on that uh, in that area and you see that there is a fill score possibility. Uh, maybe the easiest way to fill these is to use the fill score. Then you choose which one you want. It will fill in the this uh, grade for all the students. So let's say you think most of them will be usually. So choose usually, say OK and you see it fills in for all the students. Then you can go to individual students by clicking the right mouse button and assigning a particular grade to that, to that student. So this is how you fill in the work habit uh, grades and you do the same thing for the following three. After you've done that you would click Save to save those uh, grades you've assigned to the students. I won't click it now because this is just for to show you how to do. <coughs> At the end, before you save, you should have something in all four uh, areas for each student. So let's go back now to assignments and it will ask me, you will see when I click back on the assignment tab, it will ask me if I want to save the changes I've made. I will say no at this point because I don't want to save them uh, right now. Back uh, to this screen. Uh, now to uh, enter comments that will appear in the comments box on the report card, here's what you do. You go to uh, an individual student in this area here. You click on the, or you right click and you have two opportunities here. Fill scores Show Score Inspector. Uh, you would choose Show Score Inspector. It opens up this box and you can enter right in the comment you wish to write in. Now uh, you can use uh, some pronouns, automatic pronouns, uh, as is explained in one of the information sheets that was sent to you. So here you would enter the comment. The student, uh, for example, has attained all the outcomes for the course during the term. 
and then you can close it and go to the other student. Another way of uh, changing student is going up here, clicking on this arrow, this down arrow, it will bring you to the next student. Then you can enter the comment for the next student and go down the list and enter the comments for all the students. After you've done so, you can close this box off and again uh, click Save because otherwise uh, you lose everything. And uh, you see that here there is now a little C, a little C, a blue C there that uh, tells you that there is a comment. And if you leave the cursor there, it will show you what comment you have entered there. And that's it for entering the comments. You can uh, do that now. Make sure you're entering the comments in the right term. You're preparing S1 now, so make sure you're in S1. Because if you don't, you will have to go back into S1 and enter the comments in there. And that's it for the comments.